T. Erica with News for Women. According to the Office for National Statistics, more women are putting off having children until later in life. Statistics from 2020 demonstrated that half of women in England and Wales have not had a baby by their 30th birthday for the first time ever in history. Yes, 50% of women born in 1990 were childless by the time they turned 30. By comparison, 57% of women born in 1970 had become a mom and 76% of those born in 1950. While two-child families are still the most common, women who have recently completed their childbearing are more likely than their mother's generation to only have one child or none at all. Professional female footballers in England are to benefit from maternity and long-term sickness cover and a landmark change to their contracts. The move was hailed as a great step forward by the Sunderland Central MP Julie Elliott during a debate in Parliament on women's experiences of playing football in England. Players at the 24 clubs in the Women's Super League and Women's Championship in England will be guaranteed maternity leave for the first time, a provision that was not in its standard player contract. Calls have grown for more to be done to, to support female players who choose to have children, with an increasing number deciding not to wait until they retire to start a family, like U.S. forward Alex Morgan, whose daughter Charlie was born in May 2020. Morgan returned to work on the football field in November. FIFA announced that it would introduce a set of minimum rights for contracted players globally, including a minimum 14 weeks of paid maternity leave with at least eight weeks after birth and two thirds of a player's salary. A record number of student borrowers are weeping with joy after the Biden administration in the US began relaxing stringent rules around public service loan forgiveness. The program was launched in 2007 to help teachers, healthcare workers, military members, and other public servants earn debt relief on their federal loans. According to the Department of Education, as of last week, more than 70,000 borrowers qualified for debt forgiveness, amounting to about $5 billion in relief. We'll be back right after this. Hello, my name is Jade. I am the owner and operator of Flick of the Wrist Exclusives. I customize and repair shoes. I'm considered a modern day cobbler. And I also make and customize clothing. A little background information on myself, as transparent as can be, I came from selling and using drugs. At one point, I ended up hitting rock bottom and just bored playing around with the shoe one day. I customized the shoe and put it on social media and it blew up from there. And in the process of it, God allowed me to use that platform on social media to begin to tell my story of the things that happened to me when I was in the streets and I began to heal and my business began to grow. It has been such a journey. It's been amazing because prior to, I couldn't even draw anything besides my name, you know, and to be able to do some of the things that God has allowed me to do now, it's been miraculous. <music> Social media bliss, three-year-old Rose Jackson went viral this week when her birthday photo shoot was posted on social media by her mom, Diamond, a professional photographer. Diamond said that when Rose saw a picture of Spider-Man on a book bag in Target, she fell in love. I thought that was so cute. That's it for today's News for Women. I am T. Erica. Please subscribe for more updates. Thank you for watching.